overgrown weeds, empty beer cans, and a lot of frustrated neighbors. The Morning Insiders uncover a pattern of vacant city-owned properties falling into disarray, leading to more than 100 complaints filed to the city just last year. As CBS 2's Morning Insider Tim Nicholas found out, those complaints don't always fix the problems for good. 4129 West Grenshaw. That's how this lot is described in county records. They should maintain it. But the neighbors? It devalues your property. They just know it as the eyesore down the block. It makes you feel, I mean, disgusted because you want your neighborhood to look nice. Ladarius Richardson isn't the only one upset. Last year, the property sparked at least three complaints to the city. Residents told 311 vacant lot, large, debris and lot needs cleaning trash and three car tires. I did wonder who owned it. I always did, but turns out it's owned by the city of Chicago. That makes it uh, even more worse because they should care about what the neighborhood looks like. City records show last year alone, 311 fielded more than 100 complaints about vacant lots owned by the city, ranging from trash and debris to high weeds slash garbage. The city says they completed all of those service requests, including the ones here on Grenshaw, but some of the problems are back. It should be constantly, continuously making sure that it's clean. We visited four other city-owned lots across Chicago, all with overgrown grass and weeds. We found the lots littered with beer cans and plastic bags, despite a city ordinance saying owners must keep their lots free of trash. If they were privately owned, the owner could face a $600 fine. Every once in a great while, they do come and clean up. Javier Anaya says this lot at Gladys and Karlov is a hot spot for drug deals. So sometimes they'll meet customers here and they go back and forth. The city encourages people to help them out by reporting problems to 311. Streets and Sanitation also schedules weed cutting at vacant lots two to three times per year during their weed cutting season that starts in the spring. But Anaya says that's not enough. People see this, they're scared to buy here, they're scared to rent here. Clean it up and secure it. And soon we could hear the city's inspector general's thoughts. CBS 2 has learned the IG's office is auditing the city's weed cutting services. We'll let you know what they find. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. There are more than 9,000 city owned lots across Chicago. The city also says they tackle 311 requests and clean up concerns in between sanitation loads throughout the year. We told them about the lots you just saw in our story, and the city says all of them have now been cleaned.